Hi, and welcome to the Brisbane Professionals Podcast. This is a podcast brought to you by SMS Law, going through the legal secrets that will benefit you and your clients, as well as having a little bit of fun as we go. This podcast is designed to educate you on, number one, complicated legal terms that we will explain in an easy to understand manner, two, to understand why you do things from a legal perspective in your business, and three, to help you develop a plan for the future success of your business. Our mission is to help empower small to medium-sized businesses around the world to get access to legal advice so that they can help build their communities and make the world a better place. Did you know that any business owner is on average seven months away from losing everything? That is the average time that it takes from a successful business to fold when an aspect of their business is not set up correctly. This podcast is all about empowering you and your business with knowledge and tools to ensure that that doesn't happen to you or to your clients. Let's begin, shall we? Hi, everyone, and welcome to the uh, Brisbane Professionals uh, podcast. Uh, I am Craig Mason from SMS Law, and I have with me Jeremy Stratton from SMS Law. How are you going, Jeremy? I'm well today. Thanks, Craig. That's great. Uh, So this is the Brisbane Professionals podcast uh, brought to you by SMS Law, as the intro uh, stated. Uh, We're going to go through, or the idea of the show is to go through the legal secrets uh, that will benefit you and your clients. And we like to have a little bit of fun here on the show as well. Now, one of our junior lawyers, uh, Jeremy, is heading off to court this morning. Is there any... uh, jokes that he might want to share with the other lawyers there while he's there. Well, it depends how, how much he wants to get in trouble for, but um, uh, the, the joke I have for you today, Craig, is what do you call a lawyer with an IQ of 100? I don't know. Um, Jeremy Stratton, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe Craig Mason? No. Um, um, Your Honour, uh, you know, for those who don't know, referring to the judge. So. <laughs> yes, they're very smart uh, men or uh, women, the judges. All right. Excellent. So today's show, uh, we're going to talk about a, a term that um, is probably thrown around uh, pretty willy-nilly, and that's uh, time uh, of the essence. Uh, so Jeremy, do you want to explain exactly what that actually means and ramifications in contracts, etc.? Yeah, so, so time's, time is of the essence. You've probably heard it, you know, it, it's always in real estate contracts in Queensland. It's often in business sale contracts in Queensland as well. And basically what it means is if if you have a date uh, that something is due by, then it's due by that date. And that might sound a bit funny to those of us who have grown up in the system where you know, if you um, enter into a contract, say you're buying a, a block of land and settlements to be on the, the 30th of June of any year, uh, in other states, in other um, countries, in other, you know, like the UK, the US and, and other states of Australia, the New South Wales and Victoria, you don't actually have to settle on that date unless a certain process is followed. And so we have a concept in Queensland called time is of the essence. And, and essentially that means that where you have a clause in a contract that says that something is due by a certain date, it is actually due by that date. Uh, in other states uh, and, and those jurisdictions, you have to send a notice calling on settlement to actually happen uh, for that to occur. So it's a really important um concept to understand and it's something that's often misunderstood what that actually means Uh, and it might sound silly as I said but that's the reality of of what we see in contracts in Queensland and and other parts of the world. Yeah absolutely so uh, you know as part of the show we try to explain complicated sort of legal terms in a in an easy to understand manner I think this one definitely falls into to that category a lot of people get it wrong or use it in the wrong context so it's important to understand what time is of the essence uh, all right. Anything else you wanted to share with our listeners today, Jeremy? Not at all. I think um, that should be enough. And if you've got any questions, you can um, always um, connect with us. Happy to answer anything and, and clarify anything for, um, in relation to any legal aspects, but in particular, um, time is of the essence. Yeah, absolutely. And that brings me to the uh, the end of the show. And just a reminder, uh, make sure you rate and review this podcast uh, on the platform that you've received it. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with anything that we're sharing as Jeremy mentioned, uh, like our Facebook page. So that's SMS Law. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, of course, or search for us on LinkedIn if you like to get your updates through that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, as Jeremy said, we share things on there on a regular basis uh, and we're available for any questions uh, that you might have. Um, just jump on there and send us a message. All right, that's it for us, Jeremy. We'll be back again uh, next time.